Hello guys, I hope you are all fine. This is Kovendan from Basun Technologies and after a long gap here I am going to present my video. So this video is about the original audio processor. So here I have selected two ICs FR6311 and R2S15902FP both are same as you know if you are using a remote kit and you are very familiar with these two ICs and the first one is R2S15902FP in this video we are going to see all the details about the ICs uh, which means the specification and that uh, technical details and the programming details how to program so all the details I am giving you a glimpse so I am explaining each and everything and we also discuss about uh, microcontrollers and how it works and uh, total remote kit working so all the kind of uh, details regarding the remote kit we will discuss in this session so let's go to the session first we will see that uh, evaluation so how this rts15902 fp evaluate and basically it is invented in 2005 by nec electronic corporation so this nec electronic corporation later merged with renaissance technology corporation in 2010 so uh, these are the manufacturers of the renaissance i mean uh, rts 15902 fp at the moment but as up now they are not producing rts but the same rts ic is available in the market with some other name that is fr6311 so that is invented by Princeton Technology. So they are not inventing anything. They are simply copying that uh, all the features of RTS and they just rename it as FR6311. You can go to the Princeton Technology website, PD website, and you can search PT6311. It is an VFD driver controller IC. But the same name you can search fr6311 you cannot you won't find any data sheet on that ic because they cannot able to produce data sheet because they don't have any copyright for this ic they have simply copied next we will see that uh, full details of rts and actually that it is a six channel electronic volume controller with four input selector so there are six uh, electronic volume controller individually and all the six channel you, you can get the gain gain control also and you can get input selector which means a, uh, three input three stereo input and one five point output input sorry and all the inputs you can select you will get a five point output even you can, you can get stereo output also also you will get a tone control which means bass and treble the only problem the R2S uh, IC has, uh, if the person who is using this uh, R2S IC, they can very well know about that. If it doesn't has any master volume control. And if you want any master volume control, you have to uh, add the, all the individual volumes. So that is not possible, quite uh, not, not usual. But if you want to use a master volume control, there is lots of ICs are available. Even PT has 2386. Uh, master volume control and you can uh, add this IC with the RTS and you can use it separate master volume control apart from that RTS doesn't has any individual I mean master volume control so, biggest uh, drawback of uh, RTS 15902FP and the technical details the voltage ranges around 3.3 to 5 volt DC and sampling rate is 48 kilohertz or higher bit, de bit depth is 16 bit or 24 bit audio and control interfacing SPA programming so you have to use the SPA for coding and the package is available for QFN 44 uh, each side 11 pins are available so totally 44 pins are there in the package so reading data on clock so how can you read a data on clock so bas basically all the data on clocks are zeros and ones so zero means low one means high so what that data sheet of the RTS is explaining about the reading data on clock actually they are written data signal is read at the rising edge of the clock which means 
if the clock is going 0 to 1 you can read the data so based on this principle you have to send all the 24 datas which means d0 to d23 so this is the procedure so this picture represent the data sheet picture actually it is you can go to the data sheet and verify the picture so they will clearly mention how to send a data i mean how to read a data and how to create a latch so once the latch created then it will automatically terminate that the process is automatically terminated so these are the thing is sending data on clock so data on clock is very much important so if you are sending data on clock properly you will you will be getting succeed so this is the working flow of home theater kit so if you are having a home theater and you will get to know the working flow of home theater so basically all the home heart of the home theater is microcontroller so microcontroller decides all the controls which means if the, the clock speed of microcontroller will decide the working flow of the remote kit the smooth flow has to be decided by microcontroller so when you are selecting a microcontroller use I mean select microcontroller accordingly as your need okay there are lots of microcontrollers are available in market I, well STM STC so I, I, on our understanding on our experience STC is very reliant and cost effective and then the last part the comparison of RPS and FR6311 though FR6311 is the copy of RPS but it is uh, it has the same features i mean working pin configuration everything as rts but that output quality audio is very much different and we have experienced of both ic's so initially we have we have bought uh, rts 15902 when we started the remote kit uh, by 2013 after that uh, rts is uh, not available in market much it is also available right now but the cost is very high when compared to fr6311 but the th the reason is rts they have renaissance top of the protection but here pt is still producing fr6311 so, so it is cost effective so in the next video i will uh, put the coding of this uh, rts ic and also i will explain how the data on clock will be sent it sent to the I'm RPS and how it works then we will discuss in properly with the coding so if I if I'm explaining with the coding then you will get to know very well and thanks for watching this video and please subscribe us like us comment us share us thank you